At this point, there is a real history on our project and we can check the logs just by clicking here on the commits. And we can see here that we got a clock. So if I click on the commit, here we can see that I got the whole history of my project. Merge li branch little feature, add test.txt, the merge pull request, the example.txt, and the first commit. So what I can do if I want to see this into my terminal is to type git log. And when I type git log, I have exactly the same thing. And I got the ID of every commit that I had. But what if I would like to revert? What if I would like to remove this latest commit here, merge branch little feature? What if I would like to come back to this commit here to revert? So what I can do is just copy pasting this ID that I got here. And back in here, I can type git checkout exactly to check a branch. And I can copy paste the ID. What is it doing here is to come back actually to this commit here as a branch. So I'm going to type enter. And here I got a huge message. So here we can see that git checkout actually switched to this new uh, branch. And look at this, in this branch, Actually, I came back to the whole state without the merge and I can actually make changes from here and I can even start a new branch coming from here. So let's just type here git switch and here let's say that I would like to create a branch from this point. So let's call it just alternate little feature in here. And this branch here will start from this commit here, from added.txt. So we will never have here the merge that we had before. So I can type enter and suddenly I'm on a new branch called alternate little feature. So let's just type here touch. And here I'm going to put alternate.txt and it's going to create a new file. This is a file for branch here and actually from branch, from branch, from branch, alternate little feature. And again, we are going to commit that file to save it. And here it's going to be alternate uh, .txt. There we go. And I'm going to try to push. And remember, this branch doesn't exist yet, so it will ask me to push the setup stream that we get here. And there we go, we pushed the branch remotely on the repository. So if I come back, I go to my repository, I can see that I got here the alternate little feature. And if we look at the branches, we got it in here. What I want you to do now is to go to branches in here and look at this. This is the most interesting. We see directly that what we've got here is the branch alternate little feature. And we are behind two commits. And we are ahead of one. The commits we are ahead of is basically the commit that we just created. It's a file we added. But we are behind two commits from main. We are behind two commits, which are what? Basically the merged and the commit itself that we didn't push. So, which is interesting to see is that here we can see that little feature is late of three commits and it's, it's not ahead of any commits from zero. But alternate little feature is ahead of one and behind two. So what we need to do basically by doing that is to rebase most of the time. So if I click compare and pull request. And here we are going to create a pull request quickly. So here I'm going to add myself and here it's going to be an enhancement. And let's just to add a new feature. Let's call it like this. And here I'm going to put changes and I'm going to put added alternate.txt and I'm going to click on create pull request. Here we can see down here that we don't get any conflict with the base branch. And if I merge the pull request, it's going to come on the top of main. Or what I can do is to say rebase and merged. 
So rebase, rebase and merge, the one coming from this branch will be rebased and added to the base branch. So in this case, I will come back to the step where I had the commit previously. And on this case, I will actually rebase, which means that I will grab the changes. So the forgotten commit, the commit that I skipped, and I will add it on top of what I had. So let's just try to merge from here, create and merge commit. So here, if I put merge pull request and commit here, we will merge. And definitely when we come back here on code, we can see that now we just uh, uh, merge the pull request and suddenly the number of commit is seven. We pass from five to seven because we added the two commits missing. So if we look at it, we've got those alternate.txt three minutes ago. And if we go to branches, if we look at it, suddenly it's all right. We got three commits behind directly from the main branch and we have zero commit ahead. So what I can do now is to come back here and I can type git rebase main and I type enter. Here, what we can see is that we successfully rebase and updated actually the refs adds, so the adds we created. So adds, it's basically the, the branch that we created before with the revert commit on alternate feature. And we rebased on main. We here in that case, be safe. We don't get any conflict. We are going to look at conflict after in another lesson. We don't get any conflict. Probably you, when you will rebase, and if you had changes locally that are not on the origin, you will probably uh, have some conflicts, but I'm going to show you how to deal with that later. Okay, so I can just try to uh, git add or git, yes, git commit dash m and say rebase, for instance. And here we see that we've got a problem. We've got a problem because we have our branch origin alternate little feature that have diverged. So what we need to do at first is to type git pull. And this is where we've got a problem. We have different versions. So I'm going to show you in the next lesson how to deal with this conflict.